Damn, Wendy Williams' son following in his foot in his father's footsteps. Planet of the Fakes Families and Pig Star HH News. Wendy Williams' son pleads not guilty to assaulting his dad Kevin Hunter. Wendy Williams' son Kevin Hunter Jr. has pleaded not guilty to assaulting his dad Kevin Hunter, according to multiple outlets. Kevin Jr., 18, appeared in a New Jersey courtroom on Tuesday for his arraignment after he was arrested last month, TMZ and Page Six reported. He entered a not guilty plea, according to TMZ. Kevin J.R.S. attorney Ray Hamlin tells People he is looking forward to resolving this case favorably, and Bell, Eve that the case will be resolved in that manner, so that my client can enter into his sophomore year of college, with no distractions. He also told TMZ that Hunter has no desire to bring charges against his son. In addition, Kevin J.R. may qualify for a state-wide conditional dismissal program to clear his name, TMZ reported. However, he must remain out of trouble, the outlet reported. The prosecutor Joseph Wenzel has also asked for more time to review the case. He will also consider Kevin Sr. not wanting to press charges. Wendy Williams and Kevin Hunter Jr. Splash News. It does factor into my determination, Wenzel told Page Six. But at the end of the day, I have to make the call about what is in the best interest of justice. Kevin Jr. will appear in court again on July 9th. A spokeswoman for the Essex County Prosecutor's Office in New Jersey confirmed to people that an incident took place at 9.50 p.m. on May 21. Kevin J.R. was charged with simple assault, according to the spokeswoman, following an altercation in West Orange. He was processed and released by West Orange Police Department the same evening and was not taken to county jail. TMZ reported that Williams' estranged husband Hunter and Kevin J.R got into a physical altercation that resulted in the cops being called. I love my son very much and I will not be pursuing this matter legally, Hunter said in a statement to TMZ. Things are not always how they appear. According to the outlet, Williams, 54, dropped Kevin Jr. off at her house, not knowing Hunter was there. Though she planned to return shortly, Kevin Jr. And Hunter reportedly ended up making a quick trip to a nearby store in the meantime. While standing in the parking lot of the store, the two reportedly got into a verbal altercation about his divorce from Williams. Hunter claimed Williams was attempting to brainwash their son, reports TMZ. The fight quickly escalated, with Hunter allegedly putting his son in a headlock. Kevin Jr. allegedly fought back by punching his father in the face. A source with knowledge of the incident told people that Hunter was trying to calm his son down and keep the situation from escalating by placing him in the headlock. Williams filed for divorce from Hunter in April. Their separation came amid the news that he had allegedly fathered a child with his mistress. Hunter broke his silence on the split in a statement to people, addressing the cheating scandal, and admitting he was not proud of Myrison's actions. According to a source, they've had zero contact since then, and Williams has nothing to say to him. She has also cut ties with her ex, professionally, he was removed as executive producer of the Wendy Williams show, and she dissolved the Hunter Foundation, the non-profit, Organizadio, and the couple founded in 2014. A source recently told People that Williams has actually been in really good spirits since calling it quits with Hunter and has been throwing herself into her work. She asked taking over her empire, the source said, she was kept out of the loop a lot.
Wendy s an executive producer on the show as well, but she s the talent. Kevin was the one doing a lot of the behind their scenes stuff and being a go between for her and the show. Williams has also moved on romantically. She s been seeing Mark Tomlin, a 27 year old convicted felon, for a couple of weeks. Like, comment, follow, share. Wendy Williams stepped out hand in hand with her son Kevin Hunter Jr. on Thursday, just days after he was arrested for assaulting his father, allegedly. The duo were headed to a gala in Washington, D.C., and looked to be in good spirits despite the rainy weather and the drama of the week. The Williams wore a long black wrap dress with a matching coat and stayed comfortable in her slippers. Kevin Jr. sported a black suit jacket and pants with a plain white t-shirt. They appear to be putting on a United of this divorce yeah, drama. Yeah, through so much. Wendy and her son are very close. They're sending a lot, spending a lot of time together. She opened up about an outing they had recently on her show and became emotional when she thought about how her son was actually seeing her enjoying herself. Her son's obviously a huge priority for her. Now, people confirm that Kevin Jr. was charged with simple assault on Tuesday following an altercation that reportedly took place in a store parking lot. According to TMZ, the father Father and son got into an argument about Williams and Hunter's divorce. When the fight escalated, Hunter put Kevin Jr. into a headlock, and then Kevin Jr. reportedly responded by punching his father in the face. Kevin Jr. and Wendy Williams have not commented on the arrest. But Kevin Hunter Sr. did speak out, telling TMZ in a statement, quote, I love my son very much, and I will not be pursuing this matter legally. Things are not always how they appear. TMZ reported that Hunter claimed Williams was attempting to brainwash their son. The outlet also says that before the divorce filing, that the father and son were really close. Yeah, Williams filed for divorce in April amid reports that Hunter allegedly fathered a child with another woman. They've been married for more than 20 years. The source previously told people that all of the drama, quote, put a huge strain on Wendy and caused her to struggle with her sobriety as she did everything she could to try and save their marriage. The decision to split was terribly hard for her, but she's regaining her health. She decided she needed to finally put herself first. And I'll tell you, you can really, you can tell and sense that she's doing that. I was just there yesterday taking yeah. the episode, uh, a segment on her show, and she was about to jet off to D.C. for that gala. She was excited for the trip. She seemed to be in great spirits, so it seems that she's in good place. Yeah, it's heartbreaking to hear these reports and fighting, so we obviously wish her the best.